Cameron, what do you think about all of this in terms of the idea that Paris Saint-Germain or maybe, if they can afford it, Manchester City bring Messi to England? <sighs> Could City afford him? That's the only question what everyone's going to be asking now. Obviously, the rumour mill is going to be rife. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain will probably be the favourites to get him, given their financial um, strength in the market. But like you said about the president, he's gone back and promised the Barcelona fans, look, we're going to sort Messi's contract out. This is what we want to do. This is the place where I'm going to take the club. Come with me, vote for me. I'm the president. They've all backed him. And all of a sudden now, he's, like you said, he's pointing the finger at La Liga. Look, it's your fault. We can't do it because you're putting these restrictions in place for our football club. So it's interesting. They must believe, Barcelona, that the European Super League is going to happen if, as Terry Gibson told us a few moments ago, they're prioritising that and the, their ambition to, to create a European Super League ahead of signing a new financial deal that brings more money into La Liga with the other 18 clubs, them and Real Madrid, are the, the two clubs who are outside of it at the moment, still desperate to make the European Super League happy. How on earth can any president justify to their fans the dream of the European Super League comes before signing a new contract with Messi? Well, it doesn't. Simple as that. Messi is Barcelona. Um, you know, he's been the best, probably the best player in their history. He's, you know, the best player in the world at the moment. Do they prioritise, like you say, the dream of the Super League or the rebuild under Messi? You know, which one is it going to be? So, you know, he did promise the delivering of Messi and his new contract. It looks like he's going away from that promise now. So, like you said, I think there'll be big problems there in Spain. And, you know, I can imagine and I can envision the fans going down to, <laughs> to the new camp now and writing and to the La Liga headwaters because, you know, mm. there's going to be finger pointing and blaming on either side. And, you know, the fans are not going to be happy at all. There's a huge choice for Lionel Messi to make now over his future. It probably all boils down to what sort of character he is. He will have many options. Well, you'd like to think he's got every option going. It just depends what he wants to do, like you say. His character, does he want to go and um, cement his status as the best player in the world? Does he go, right, I want to go and win another Champions League somewhere. Where's the best place for me to do that? Is it Paris Saint-Germain? Is it Juventus? Is it you know Manchester City? Does he link up with Pep again? Is that the, the feeling? Obviously, the rumours last year when he said he wanted to leave and you know the general consensus was what he was going to go to City. City was the only ones who could do it. Them are Paris Saint-Germain. Um, you know, with City now, you know, the Grealish sort of transferred 100 million for that. Did they then go and break the bank further and get messy? Who knows? Oh, I, my view on it is it's amazing, but Barcelona have only got themselves to blame. Now, I know M Barcelona fans would say you've got to go all out to keep Lionel Messi, but the re reality is he's going to be the highest paid player. He's going to be on a huge contract. And it doesn't matter if there are new regulations in La Liga when it comes to finances. Barcelona had already run themselves into a financial position where they were basically broke and desperate to get players out of the club. They have given huge contracts out to the likes of Philippe Coutinho, uh, Griezmann, Usman Dembele, you know, players that probably haven't worked, but they've also spent huge money on them. Usman Dembele out of the blue, what was it, 120 million? Coutinho, 142 million. You know, we're here talking about a British record for Jack Grealish, which could be 100 million. Barcelona, for some reason, have been spending huge amounts for far too long. They have to now cut their cloth accordingly. I know Barcelona fans would say sell every other club, uh, every other player at the club before you sell Lionel Messi. But the reality of the situation is he's the player out of contract right now. And the easiest player to leave the club is one that doesn't currently have a contract with you. I just, I can't, you can't point the blame at anyone other than Barcelona, they only have themselves to blame. And now Man City and Paris Saint-Germain have to be licking their lips. And I wonder what you think, whether Man City should go all out to get him, 08717 whether it would tarnish Lionel Messi's reputation if he ended up at Paris Saint-Germain. That's another thing. I, I, you know, you mentioned a little bit earlier on, I think during the break, the quality that Paris Saint-Germain have in their squad is, is something to behold if they sign him as well. Um, but... It sends a message to the rest of football about about where we are in terms of finances. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think um, it's the right message for football if he goes to Paris Saint-Germain, but you know he's got close ties to Neymar. Um, you know, Neymar's tried to come back there. He's tried to persuade Barca to take Neymar back. So, you know, you can see maybe going there, you can see the Pep link up again. Obviously, he speaks so highly of Pep. Pep speaks so highly of him, and rightly so. Um, 
but do City go all out for it? Can City afford it? That's the question what's going to be on everyone's lips. It's what I'm thinking of now. Can City do it? How can they afford it? People criticise me for this because I was, I am a Manchester United fan speaking at the time. I said, look, this is last summer when we thought he could be going to Manchester City. I'd rather see him at Manchester City than at Paris Saint-Germain. You know, and that's as a Manchester United fan. The Premier League would be blessed, to, I think, to have Lionel Messi. We've got loads of great players here. But for me, he could easily go down as the greatest player of all time. I don't think we've yet had a player. Maybe you'd say Cristiano Ronaldo. That's the argument that would be seen in that light. But imagine we'd have Ronaldo, Messi too. Spain have had it for a period of time. Now we could say that we've got Messi as well. Yeah, if he comes to the Premier League, like you say, it's, it's coming at the top of his game. Ronaldo probably got better as he was leaving. He was still unbelievable when he was in the Premier League, but I think he got better at Madrid. Um, does Messi come here? Does he fancy it? I don't know. It's like, like you say, what, what <laughs> don't kind say of... it. Don't say it as a former Stoke player. Can he no. do it on a cold Tuesday night? Ah, no, but I'm saying, does he, does he fancy coming and playing in a league where it's a little bit more physical, a faster tempo, um, you know, a style what he's not quite used to, whereas Spanish football's it's what he knows. It's what he does. It's That's similar to the a lot of styles in Europe. Does he go and just settle at Paris Saint-Germain or does he go to Italy or does he, does he go back home to Argentina that's the thing he's gone home he's won the Cup of America there does he go right enough's enough I want to go home I'm taking the family back home we're going back to Argentina that could be an option <laughs> no one knows I think he still wants I mean the, the, the last summer the idea that he wanted to come to Manchester City it, it suggested that he still wanted to go and be at a club that was going to be good enough to get to a Champions League final and possibly win it. And even the idea, as Terry said, that he would go to Paris Saint-Germain, let's be honest, I don't think he's going there because he wants a Liga title. He's going there because I think he would want to win the Champions League, if that's the case. I think Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain are probably level in terms of their likelihood at, at right now to win the Champions League. So it could be either. I personally, but I'm not Lionel Messi, would rather be in the Premier League because we know what a fantastic league we have with all due respect back to France which I think is a great league with great teams and great players right now the Premier League you'd say in terms of competition is very very strong and it it almost needs someone like Messi because I think that would be you know the jewel in the crown yeah absolutely if he comes here like you say it's it's Lionel Messi at the end of the day like is the only thing what people watch Spanish football for you know Ronaldo's left he's gone to Italy you know a lot of people are casual Barcelona fans because Lionel Messi so if he comes to the Premier League it just explodes even more mm. it's already the biggest league in the world for me so everyone sells I mean everyone pretty much sells out already but oh, you yeah. would be going to watch your team if you were a Newcastle fan playing against Manchester City you're going to watch Messi. at St James's to take your kids and say we're going to watch Messi today Absolutely. lads Absolutely. as well as Joe Linton I'll be the same <laughs> as well I'll be taking my kids look we're going to watch Messi today yeah. that's it I think, I think you have to I mean look Manchester United fans getting in touch with us as well saying they would like to sign Lionel Messi but they've just signed Jadon Sancho we know the money the money is there at Manchester City the money is there at Manchester United but the City owners want to spend it and the Manchester United owners aren't necessarily in that position right now but it, it would again it would be incredible but I would just love to see you let me know what you think I would love to see Lionel Messi in England but there are options Paris Saint-Germain maybe a move to Italy who knows going back to, to Argentina and then who knows the Middle East you know, might end up in Japan with Andres Iniesta so many options for Lionel Messi where do you want to see him 08717 22 33 34.